So the title says it probably quite clear. I think Project X Cloud is the future of gaming. Let me tell you why. So I've spent some, a good amount of time with Project X Cloud, about a month or so, been testing it out. It started off with just four games available and now it's expanded to 50 games. Uh, and I like what Microsoft has said and talked about this. But before we get into that, let's talk about just how to use and get Project X Cloud. So there's a link down below for you guys if you wanna sign up and get into the beta program. It is a beta program for now, but it will expand coming you know, next year. Um, and of course become a full-fledged program tied into um, your streaming uh, Game Pass. Now, what you have with Project X Cloud is once you are able to get in, you sign in with your Xbox account. And once you're in, you've got this layout that just shows you all your games. There are 50 games, games like Devil May Cry 5, which is great, Borderlands 2, Gears 5, we've got games like uh, uh, Halo 5, uh, you know, WWE uh, 2K20, Madden 20, you know, games that are current, that are available, right? And they keep adding more and more games, which is great. So you can go into any of those games, click and play. Now it will ask you if you've connected a controller. If you haven't, you should connect a Bluetooth controller. This is where the cool parts come into the Project X Cloud. You can use your Xbox controller. I'm using my Elite controller in this video. Uh, which is cool, but Microsoft says they're expanding it to other controllers. Uh, you will be able to use a PlayStation controller in the future. They said that specifically, as well as also controllers from Razer. And what you see here is the Razer Jungle Cat. The reason I haven't done my video on the Jungle Cat yet is because I'm still waiting a couple of updates. One update is of course to allow remapping for of course Android games, but the second update, which is really important in this video, is the fact that the Jungle Cat will be will support Project X Cloud. I, right now I can use it to navigate around the screen, but it won't let me play uh, a game. So it wouldn't rec doesn't recognize as a Bluetooth controller just yet. So once that happens, this to me is probably gonna be the perfect gaming controller for any Android device or any device period at this point. The other thing with also Project X Cloud is you can stream directly from your console, which means you can stream directly from Game Pass as well. Now, I don't have that ability yet. I know some other people who do and said, look, the experience is the same. You're streaming from your, your Game Pass games. Now, this is where I see Project X Cloud being awesome because Microsoft is has said, look, with Game Pass next year, there will be streaming options available with Project X Cloud built into that. So what that means theoretically is that you don't have to have an Xbox, right? You have to have an, a Microsoft Xbox account and you just have to pay for Game Pass Gold or the highest level of Game Pass, which is what we all have now. And you will have streaming built in so you can stream. And they said there will be apps everywhere. Eventually you can stream from your all your Android devices, your iOS devices, iPad, iPhone, be able to stream off a Samsung TV, for instance, or an LG TV or Vizio, whoever it is. Like that will come into play, which means all you need is a controller and you're good to go. Now, how is the performance on this, right? When I first started a month ago, was a bit choppy, there was some slowdowns, uh, there was uh, a lot of uh, audio uh, sync issues. Uh, that has gotten much better and improved. Now, on your phone, it's 720p. That's what you're gonna be getting uh, off this. Microsoft has said that, uh, and while playing and playing without data, uh, without using Wi-Fi, um, it played well. Forza Horizon played really well solid and smooth. Now, fighting games, of course, I swear, of course, latency is really a big issue, as well as also your shooters, but fighting games like Tekken 7, which is also available, played really, really well. So I like the fact that I had that ability there, it was built in, you know, like all that stuff to me made a whole lot of sense. Uh, you know, gameplay right now is really smooth across the board. It's still one game that I'm noticing more issues, which is Gears of War. Maybe it's because of how graphically intensive Gears of War is, but that should give you something to take note. Now, some of you say, what about Stadia? Stadia is, is gonna be out. It's a full-fledged system. And yes, I will talk about Stadia once I get it. 
And I'll actually compare both of them for you to actually see uh, what you're getting there. Uh, but the one thing I do like is the fact that, look, if you're an Xbox user, this is already free for you. The games are free, they're 50 free games. You're not buying anything. And again, you can stream from your Game Pass, which will be free games as well. So, I mean, or not free games, but at least games you're subscribing to, a Netflix package, as opposed to you buying games, right? So for me, that is really important and that's what I like. So what do you think about Project X Cloud? Do you think this is the future of gaming? as you see fit. And I think it is. And I think Microsoft's philosophy is very simple. The Xbox Scarlet, the new console coming out next year, will be the 8K console for or 4K console. The game, the console that will give you 4K 60 standard any day of the week and will give you 8K graphics for certain games. Now, if you don't want that and you want to just play and enjoy Xbox games, then Project X Cloud, or I would say more more than anything else, Game Pass is the way to go. And I think this is what they're trying to do, which is why I really like what I've been experiencing here. Look, I was joking around on my video on, on Border Work is that I will finish Gears of War on my mobile device instead of my console because I've been traveling so much. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think. If you like this video, leave your thoughts down below. If you don't like it, leave your thoughts anyway. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.